What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Time for another episode of Tom's Thrifty Finds. Today, we're talking Revere Wear. Revere Wear. Specifically, this little miniature Revere Wear pan. Wow. Which is actually a measuring cup. See the little measurements there? It does have the logo on the bottom. I'll post a better picture of it here. And it apparently does have the copper on the bottom, but it's a pretty thin coating. So it's not recommended to scrub. You don't want to go scrub-a-dubbing on this too much. It'll wear it out. I also did post this on Reddit and somebody had mentioned that it was actually used for melting butter on the stove. But honestly, I'm not really sure if this is a good idea to heat up. But I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, they did put the copper on there, so it might have been, might have been functional. Another thing about these is the lid handle, or the handle is pretty fragile. So you want to be careful with that. Please, Please be, careful. be careful. Yeah, this is a pretty cool piece. I've never seen Revere wear uh, measuring cups before, so this is a pretty unique find. I was pretty excited when I found this. I found it at a local thrift store called Restore here, and it was under one dollar. Yeah, that's a good deal. I say so myself. It might, I think it might have been 49 cents, <laughs> actually. Super, Super cute. cute! Another thing that's interesting about this stamp is that it's double stamped. Huh! Never seen that before. But growing up, I've always been a fan of the copper bottom pans. I've always had one growing up. And uh, I've had them uh, when I was growing up. I've always been a fan of the copper bottom. My mom had them. I feel like we've always had at least one or two in the house, in the kitchen, to use. And I love them. They're really good. Good stuff. A really good chef. Now, if you're not familiar with Revere Wear, you probably should be because they're all over thrift stores. Whenever I go, I see at least two or three of them hanging around. But you gotta be careful because some of them don't have the 100% copper on the bottom. Down the line, they started cutting the percentage of copper they put so they didn't cook as well, which was the whole point of the copper bottom in general. It's to get a better uh, conductivity, I believe is the word, and it heats uh, more evenly and quicker. So they were very efficient cookware of the time. No. That's another thing. They also called it copper clad bottom. I always called it just the copper bottom pans. That's, a, that's what I did. And you know what? Don't leave your kitchen without one or don't leave, leave one in your kitchen. Uh, make sure you got one hanging around. So the Revere Ware line was introduced in 1939, but its roots date back to 1801, which is actually the year they stamp on the logo. See? There's a reason behind that, because that's where it all began. This thing likes to get to pop in here. Woo! To get to pop in here. You remember this dude? First name Paul, last name Revere. Likes to ride horses. He did some stuff, revolutionary. Haha. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Not many people know about. He started North America's first copper rolling mill in Canton, Massachusetts. Here's a little photo of what it kind of looked like. Basically, the mill rolled blocks of copper into sheets that were first mainly used on the bottom of ships to help seal in the wood and help um, increase the lifespan of the boat itself. Here's an old drawing of what those machines looked like. <laughs> Fast forward to 1939 and thus the copper bottom pan was invented by employee James Kennedy. At this time, the company was known as the Revere Copper and Brass Corporation. So yeah, around this time, these pans were very popular because of the copper bottoms. <laughs> and you know why, I told you already, it's because they were really good at cooking. Here's a cool little ad that I thought was interesting. Check it out. See, like it. check out the conductivity meter. But after 1968, Revere Ware started using close to 50% less copper. It lowered the cost, but it also noticeably reduced the quality of the cooking. Hey, a little side note here. In 1955, Revereware came out with a really awesome, cute, miniature set for children. And I think it's, it's wonderful. Check it out. 
Here's a photo of it. You got the kid playing with it. You know, that will end the the bottom, the bottom of the box, so it comes as a set, and the bottom of the out bo <laughs> and the bottom of the box turns into a little stove. That's pretty cool. Put this on there and put it in. I'm making the cookers. You can tell what type of pan you have by the logo. If it says patent pending, those were before 1941 and have the full copper bottoms. From 1941 to 1968, it says made under process patent. And those still had the full copper bottoms. So if you don't see the patent pending, it came after 1968 and those don't utilize the full copper bottoms. So be on the lookout for those. Those ones are might be harder to find nowadays. In 1999, the last plant that made Riverware in the United States closed production and it was all transferred to China and Korea. I'm not sure what's going on with Riverware. I think they came back for a brief time, but maybe it just wasn't popular enough to continue. If you like thrifting, there's plenty of them out there in the wild, so get out there and start looking for them. I know you can do it. You can find everything you need. So yeah, I do see these on the internet a little bit. They're selling from anywhere 10 to 20 bucks. People are trying to get, get for them. They're a really cool addition to your kitchen. <laughs> addition to your kitchen. Jerry, roll that beautiful bonus footage. I thought I'd continue the little miniature theme of stuff miniaturizing. Check out this cute little miniature Etch-a-Sketch. Isn't that adorable? There's a little company called, I think it's like the world's smallest whatever, and they recreate really popular toys and stuff in very miniature sizes, which I really like. Look how tiny it is. Oh! Thanks, Jerry. That's enough. All right, so thanks, everybody. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. It really helps the channel grow. That's right. And as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay thrifty, and peace be with you. All right, see you later. Thrifty, thrifty, Tom, thrifty finds. What will he find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom's thrifty finds. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah.